So what's going on in manufacturing and supply chain? For sure, we have a technological transformation occurring. And if you aren't on top of this, keeping up with this, or quickly learning, you are going to be left in the dust, no doubt about it. So I'll just talk about three of the things that I see happening, but there are many, many, many more to come. So the first is e-commerce, as we all know, B2B, so business to business, uh, has been dramatically increasing drop ships, which is very similar to shipping to people's homes, if you will, um, which is e-commerce. So that's B2C. So we have B2C increasing rapidly. There's like um, clients have been doubling and tripling uh, volumes, and if not even more than that. And drop ships, same things happening. They're absolutely increasing like mad on the B2B side. Um, the lowest range is like 30 to 40%. And you know beyond that, double, triple, quadruple, and beyond. So that is driving some additional needs in warehousing and distribution technologies in order to be able to handle these small shipments to many, many, many more locations. Uh, in an efficient manner. So there's, if you aren't keeping up in terms of technological changes in your warehouse, you will be left in the dust. The second thing that I wanted to bring up today is companies that focus on com more complex products and they have a more of an engineering element to it. So that typically is things that are make to order. It is oftentimes seen as engineer to order where every, every product is somewhat unique. Many times those can be, um, you can go in the middle ground here to configure to order so that you can basically um, move towards a final solution uh, where you can get it all uh, through your processes and systems successfully customized for the customer on the fly in a much quicker process, but yet still keep your, um, you know, your your foundation intact, your design intact. Because of course, we want it to work effectively for the customer. So, configure to order, engineer to order, and how you can do that through your ERP system, and how do you do that in terms of your processes in a um, quicker, more effective way? And how do you actually plan for future demand for items that are uh, changing uh, for each customer with options that they might be asking for? There are solutions to that. And if you aren't looking at how you do that more effectively than how you're doing it currently, again, you are going to be left in the dust and your competition does know how to do that and they're figuring it out quickly. So get on top of that topic. And the third topic that I'd like to bring up is 3D printing additive manufacturing. You know, it's been we've been talking about this for quite some time. You know, it's like new technology. We should be using it for R&D. So how do we print up products on the fly? But there are clients and there are customers, there are companies out there that are actually printing up significant parts like engines, for example. And it's, it's being utilized in distribution because if you can print closer to your customer and you can manufacture closer to your customer, which also relates to the second topic I brought up as far as the engineer to order, configure to order piece of things. If you can accommodate changing customer needs and evolving customer needs, which are absolutely happening during this pandemic, on the fly, closer to where your customers are located, you will be successful. So expand beyond R&D. Well, actually, if you don't have anything invested in learning about 3D printing or additive manufacturing, you better start. But if you have it in place for your R&D processes, why aren't you thinking about expanding? Now, is everything good through a 3D printer? Of course not. That's that is um, across the board, nothing is always one direction or the other, but you can use these concepts and you can come up with ways to speed up your manufacturing process. And actually uh, there's a shortage of talent 
And so those technological um, uh, changes here allow you to still employ um, higher skilled folks and you, it allows you to increase your volume dramatically and um, re, you know, change the uh, um, process of how you manufacture. And um, you still have uh, plenty of needs for uh, people. It's just a matter of retraining and skilling. So we could talk about that in a separate session. But uh, for now, be looking out for technological changes and a couple of the ones that um, I'd like for you to um, look for look more into, feel free to uh, read my blog and newsletters. We talk a lot about these topics, but it's e-commerce, uh, configure to order, engineer to order, and 3D printing today. Thank you.